now it's down to the wire. Um, I think whatever has happened in the previous um, tasks can only now be taken as lessons uh, for one to actually, you know, to either recover and, um, you know, put themselves in a very good position to win the competition. Today's task is a bit different. Um, there were signs of, of conflicts. However, it was, uh, it was obviously not personality clashes. I think it was more of a pressure of myself and Karabo, I think, realizing the position that we're at. The topic is mainly about um, uh, you know, businesses in townships. And I think in a team where there's two, uh, myself and Karabo, who actually come from the townships, um, I think there's, we felt at the time I mean, you know, that we were actually more um, uh, familiar with uh, the, this type of the, uh, the, the topic matter, but Selena obviously came, came, came in. Uh, obviously, she wants to showcase to the judges and the people that are around that she's also contributing. I've identified two uh, individuals which I think are pretty strong in this competition. One of them is Chris. Uh, another strong member that I've picked up is Karabo. The ladies, uh, ladies are obviously you know you wouldn't be here if you were not very strong. But I don't. Uh, I think compared to the two guys that I've mentioned. I think they are much stronger contestants, myself included, than um, the ladies. If everybody else doesn't think I'm a threat, that doesn't quite bother me because I don't quite care what they think. I'm here to grow and I'm here to win the competition. So if they don't feel I'm a threat, then that's wonderful. It is so different working with Anati and Karabo. It's, it's very different. They talk a lot, like a lot. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how you get a task to complete and they just start talking and then my train of thought just is gone. I'm, I'm taking a, a front approach this time. I'm taking an approach where I'm doing the first set of talking. I'm, I'm being like actually really hard on them. I'm like, you guys, the time, the time, the time. We're going to try our best. I'm going to try my best. My best, 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 best. What I'm doing to win the competition is be very strategic. I am definitely stating my point, but not in a rude way by any means, because what I've kind of realized in the short time here is that if you become very harsh, people can almost shut down to, your, to what you're saying. I believe that Andre would be a, a very strong competitor. I'm currently in a team of with people that uh, we're, with people with whom we lost the previous tasks. However, I'm one person who strongly believes that you fail your way to success, and it is those who continue to win who who may who may not learn as much as those who fail. And like many other great people out there who've never given up. I'm also of the same, you know, I, I don't give up, I will continue working very hard and I believe that the team that I have now is the same team of people who are hungry to win. The task itself requires, you know, an understanding of a market of people in the township, the Spaza shops, uh, myself and, and Unati, we, we have background on that, but the feedback that I got from uh, the judges was that uh, at times I may, I may take on too much and not involve the team. So my strategy for the day has been to empower the team and I think that's what we've been doing today, empowering Selena. With this specific task, she's leading uh, the, the, the challenge. We are providing the support. I think the ladies are very strong. Uh, what, one thing that I've picked up that, that stands out with them is that they, they are able to listen much more than the guys have been doing. I haven't worked closely with Chris, but I believe uh, he might be a strong uh, competitor in this competition. Uh, I've worked closely with Unati. He's very knowledgeable, and I think he's very strong. Uh, I still have enough in terms of uh, the, 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 the makeup of what would be required, you know, technically and, and the personality and the support and, and the understanding of, of, of what is required to, to win this competition.
be back in the boardroom for you guys to do your presentation to us. You will be afforded uh, five minutes for an executive summary and then 15 minutes uh, for your presentation during which we will ask questions as we go along. We're here to introduce you to our team, Tusa Sichaba. We're here to share with you of our unique products specifically designed and developed to respond to the needs of the Spaza shop industry which is an untapped market worth over 7 billion rand. We estimate there are over half a million Spaza shops throughout our country. With all this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you and introduce our product Ubuntu, covering riots, strikes, civil commotion, public disorder, terrorism. Including in this cover is the following classes. Property damage, which includes theft, business interruption, goods in transit, money, and motor. Product Ubuntu is broken down into three bands. Ubuntu Silver, Ubuntu Gold, and Ubuntu Platinum. In terms of distribution, well, we have the use of a traditional method such as insurers as well as brokers. However, in terms of being innovative, we've thought of the use of retail wholesalers, the post office, Capitech, as well as the use of possibly some agents. Now, to upskill our generation and increase employment, we've considered employing SASRI agents which will be employed from these respective locations, we will train them, upskill them, and they will be employed in our company. Marketing, very important thing to get our product well known and accepted in our market would probably be the use of, at this moment, print media, TV, which would probably be SABC, billboards within the high density spaza locations, as well as community forums in the rural areas and townships. Premium, very important factor. Well, within the premium bands of Ubuntu Silver, the premium would be 150 Rand per annum. Ubuntu Gold, premium 200 Rand per annum. And Ubuntu Platinum, 300 Rand per annum. Capital injection, very important in order to assist these products in being sold, will probably be an estimate of 20 million Rand. However, we predict a turnover in the first year of a possible 4.5 million rand with selling approximately 10,000 policies. Within the second year, a turnover of approximately 9 million rand selling 20,000 policies. And in the third year, a possible turnover of 22 million rand selling approximately 30,000 policies. Claims is definitely the name of our game. In terms of claims and should this product be accepted, we will set up a call center for claims administration. Each client will have a toll-free number which they can dial in, in respect of any claim they want to lodge as well as there will be a callback option where we can call our clients back and claims will be registered by this means. We have another option in case of a widespread incident such as a xenophobic act we will set up disaster recovery hubs where claims agents will be located to assist in these areas um, as well as a disaster recovery plan which could potentially provide assistance should this case happen to uh, members of our country. Thank you very much, Judge. Thanks, Selina. That was an excellent executive summary. Oh, thanks, Judge. Um, for you. Um, yeah, just something to add from what my colleague has summarized. Uh, the distribution uh, will mainly use uh, your insurance brokers, which is what we're currently using on the on the uh, existing SAS uh, product. Um, we'll be partnering with banks such as Capitec to try and distribute our products. Uh, the post office, which you obviously find post office generally everywhere, including the rural areas. And then lastly, we'll also be employing um, foot soldiers or agents, which we will um, employ. Uh, in those specific locations or rural areas. The marketing uh, of our products will be using the traditional uh, print media, which is your newspapers, uh, your magazines. We'll also be making use of TV. We'll be making use of your 
traditional vernacular radio stations, for example in KZN, uh, you find Ukozi FM, which is the biggest radio station in the country. We've pre-packaged three different products. One is a silver product, a gold and a platinum product. So what you will do, you will buy what looks like a scratch card. You will scratch the card and you will SMS a policy number that will be on it. With your, ID number to a num with your ID number to a specific number. After you've SMSed that number, one of our call center agents will call, will call you back to obtain your contact details and your banking details and to activate your policy, basically. And just to give you the, the, the main uh, features of our products, they will all, cover, they will all have, cover fire, which is property damage. They will cover goods in transit. They will cover uh, money loss of profits and stock. Those are the key features of the products. However, just to, 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 to make you aware of the additional benefits that come with both the platinum and the gold products. So with, an addition, with, with the gold product, we've included airtime for 100 rands petrol for them to go and restock, and as well as a cell phone cover. The financial projections, we, we estimate the first year to sell about 10,000 uh, policies at f uh, an average of 450, which is an average of those three products, okay. coming to 4.5 million. Second year will go to 9 million with 20,000 units. Okay, anything else? Any, any further questions? Nothing? Thank you very much. So the group as a whole, I think um, it's, it's a great bunch. Um, they, they've got lots of energy, they're smart, uh, they're intelligent. We apprentices stand out for me. Um, Chris, uh, in fact, when, when I first engaged with, with his team on Task 3, I found him to be so structured. He's such a leader. Um, he was just giving direction and putting the team together, putting structure. Um, he comes across as a bit of an accountant or... or some sort. He's a, such a planner. I think that works for them um, on the planning front. Um, and then another person who had a bit of a leadership element is Garabo. Uh, but he was a little bit reserved. You, you could pick up the leadership um, element in him, um, a bit of structure, but I think the disagreements they were having just pulled him backwards. Um, he kept um, just keeping quiet every now and again. And then there's um, the other young man, Unati. He's, he's got lots of energy. The, the, the ladies um, were not really coming to the party much. But of the two, um, I think Alicia is, is, is the better one for me. Um, she's got lots of potential. But also she, she just kept seeking approval on every single thing. Um, so a, a little bit of a follower. Selena was, was just a little bit disruptive for me. Um, and I did have a one-on-one -on -one with her and gave her that feedback. Um, I, I just found she was destructive um, towards her team. Come inside, please. Good afternoon, apprentices. I would like firstly to again thank my two very able assistants and fellow judges. Firstly, my right hand side, to Pazili. And also, thank you very much to Sazio for sponsoring this task. And Boyo, thank you to you as well, as well for your valuable input today. I don't have much to say except really uh, well done. Both of you, really, both teams, well, well done. What I'd like to see from, from Selena and, and Alicia is I would like you guys to see playing more um, a technical role in your presentations. Uh, and Unati and Karamo, you're much calmer today, much, much calmer than yesterday. Thank you very much, Voya. Over to you. The presentations were quite good. Um, with the short uh, time that you guys had, I think it, you, both teams did, did an outstanding job. What I didn't find, however, um, particularly with the product going to this target audience, you didn't do a needs analysis. You didn't highlight what challenges the market faces in general with this target audience, because that would, would have been answers you could have addressed in your presentations and designing a product for um, for Sandra on, on, on this aspect. Unati, I found you to be quite technically sound, but I didn't find you using that for the benefit of the team. Karabo, you, you, you tend to assume quite a, a leadership role, but you're not persuasive. Uh, I picked up a similar thing with you, Chris. 
you tend to assume a leadership role, you give direction, you put structure, but you're not persuasive enough. Andre, I, I found you to be a bit passive. Um, I didn't find you engaging enough with, with your team. Alicia, I found you to, to have a lot that you're not showing. There's, there's a lot of knowledge or a lot of expertise, a lot of potential, let me put it that way, but you, you're not bringing that to the fore. Selena, I found you a little bit destructive to your team when you guys were preparing. What remains basically is to announce the winner. The team that wins today did so reasonably comfortably because of the fact that the innovation that they brought to the table was more appropriate uh, to the, the, the task and, and the mandate that the, the task basically gave to the two teams. And the winners then today is Susa Shishaba. Oh, okay. <laughs> well done. And you are dismissed.